Hey, boss. They came as soon as they got your message. Sit down, Tom. We have a mole, Tom. No. Who? I was up all night driving myself nuts trying to figure it out. I started thinking maybe it's one of our guys. We aren't paying his fair share. Someone with a light wallet. Maybe looking to Morello for a new suit. Frank wasn't around, so I went to the safe to get the account books to see who's getting cents on the dollar he's earned. What do you know? The books are gone, Tom. Frank. <sighs> More than 50 years I've known him. <sighs> Everything I have, I got with Frank. And every buck we've earned, every dime we've paid out, it's all logged in those books. Frank hands those over to the feds, we're finished. Frank respects one person in this whole town, and that's you. This has got to be some kind of misunderstanding. I've been calling him all day. I went by his place. He's gone. His wife and kid are gone. But why? I don't know. I'm sure he has his reasons. Maybe he's still smarting over the dog. But when you tried to drown? Yeah. <sighs> Same one I shot after he wouldn't let me sink her. I was a stupid kid, Tommy. But grudge or no grudge, we gotta get those books back. Shake down all our stoolies. See who knows what. When you catch up to Frank, you get those books. And if he doesn't have them on him, you make him tell you where to find them. After that, you do what we gotta do. Vincenzo's waiting for you with a clean car. Oh, shit, like... Frank is... If the feds get those books, our whole operation's at risk. Well, it was nice knowing you, Frank. And... If the feds get those books, our whole operation's at risk. Yes, Mr. Ciliary. It was nice knowing Frank. But out of all the people, I didn't expect Frank to be the mole. I would expect, out of all the people, poorly, Tommy. but not sad. Yeah, poorly would have been a good mole. <laughs> not sad, but I don't know. We gotta keep a lid on this, Tom. Start with Biff, but don't give him nothing. I got your clean set of wheels. And something special here, if you want it. Oh, shit. Shotgun. When Frank sees a Lepara, he'll know. The old ways work. Yeah, man, what's that? Is that a machete? Oh, no. Card. So, we gotta grab the car. Holy shit, it's a convertible. Oh, wait a minute. Is that Sam? That ain't Sam. Okay, so we gotta take this one. Wait a minute, did the Don just close up the whole park? And now for the latest news. It seems like that. The Navy is today continuing its search for the remains of those brave souls lost aboard the airship USS Akron. The Akron was destroyed in a violent thunderstorm off the New Jersey coast Tuesday morning with the loss of 73 of 76 aboard. The disaster stands as the worst aviation accident on record. Yesterday, one of the survivors, Lieutenant Commander Herbert B. Wiley, spoke oh, to the press and gave a brief account of the I'm tragedy. Just trying to listen to he also spoke of the survivor's rescue by the German tanker, Phoebus. 
President Roosevelt has described the loss of the Akron as a national disaster and said that he grieves with the wives and families of those lost and the nation. We will bring you more on the disaster and the Navy's search as we receive it. Thank you for listening. We return now to our scheduled programming. Well, sorry Frank, but we gotta get you out of the picture. So if Frank is out, who's gonna who's gonna take his position? Because I'm pretty sure Tommy doesn't know anything about accounting counting. And I might think it might be Sarah. Since she knows the Yeah, since she knows the place more than anybody else. But yeah, bro, like uh yeah, I'm taking my time walking through this place because just look at how beautiful, man. And ray tracing is not even on. Actually, that guy's wasted. What is it? Tommy, where's hey. the rumpus? Biff, say something. Yes, I am in Biff's born child. Heard any big news lately? Something that Don might want to know. Uh, depends. <laughs> What's it worth to you? 20 bucks. How about 40? All right, Spill. The FBI is in town. They're getting something from Morello, but I, I don't know what. How'd you hear? Little Tony got some guy drunk in the Black Cat and drove him home. Heard a bunch of stuff, so... He's the guy you want to see. Okay. Thanks. Always a pleasure, Tommy. Oh, Biggie. Oh, man. Well, hope you guys enjoy the sightseeing of this thing because it's just beautiful, man. And I think, yeah, I think this is the first game that I'm actually a sucker for the graphics because, yeah, it's just beautiful. Just sucker for the graphics, dude. <laughs> oh my. Everything okay, Tom? I'm looking for this dude. No, not that. Everything's nah. not okay. No, nah, it's not. What's this about the guy you drove home who's with the feds? He came in for a drink, which turned into ten. He's hired muscle for some kind of safe house. Where? Oak Hill, corner of Pine. He gave me ten bucks to drive him back and keep my mouth shut. That on that Council of Gilates brokered some kind of deal between Morello and the FBI. They were all ready to sit tight on someone in there. Why the hell didn't you tell us? Tom, I did. I came in to see Frank straight away. He didn't tell the Don? No. No, he didn't. Tom, 
What's going on? You don't want to know. Out of all the people. Frank. Why, Frank? Why? You see, like now to the coverage of Game Seven of the Gold Series, and by the looks of it, ladies no. and you see, like I'm gonna be honest with you, like I'm still hung up about the fact that this game does not have currency system, open world side missions. I like, I would love that to happen for this game because. It's just beautiful, man. And I think if they added more side content and side stories, we could have been able to know a lot more about the game. And I hope that maybe, maybe there's something that I just didn't look into, but... like the place. By any chance, are you going to be given the opportunity to spare Frank or kill him? Trader. Tail frame. Oh, so it's like the spooko meter from, from Take me to those day. account books, Frank. I'm pretty sure that car right in front of us is we return now to cover what could be the final play of this game and the series between the Lost Heaven Lancers and the Empire oh, Bay Cannons. Fuck it up. A quick reminder that this final inning is being brought to you by Swift Cola. When you need a lift, reach for a Swift. It's not only a taste sensation, it's guaranteed to increase Swift focus, cola. drive, and mental clarity. Pick up a bottle of Swift Cola today. And as we are coming to a close, let me thank the I just hope this doesn't look sus. Me not stopping where I'm supposed to stop. These teams could be said to be I just stop and... Each team has a star where are they moving you to? I refer, of course, to Smith and Sidell. Holy shit, I almost crashed on to that car. Okay, it seems like they are opening up a gap in the end. Hey, move, move! Jeez, what is this guy doing? Living life at the edge. Okay, as long as I keep my eye on him, I won't lose it. Nobody down there is considering the possibility of extra innings. Bunny Smith then standing on the mound, a look of steely determination on his face. He's betraying no emotion. So is there like a good solid reason why to be some kind of meat happening? The weight of expectation. He's having a word with the umpire because, or something or other. Yeah, I still don't know why. Frank can't, but. If the Lancers are to win here today, he's going to write himself into the record books. And boy, oh boy, what that would mean to the people of hmm. Lost Heaven after such a long time without Is he glory meeting? on yeah. the diamond. All right, they've sorted out whatever was going on. Here we go then. Into the cannons, it's Patty Doherty. Smith is pitching the game of his life, but Doherty's a big man. If he can catch one, it could run, and with bases loaded, the cannons would have it. Here we go. Okay, Doherty facing up. down Smith. That's one and strike. The big man thought he had it. Some speed. Oh, they're enjoying themselves with the it's game. It's fair to say Doherty looks a little spooked. He was convinced he had it. His body language tells the tale. Smith remains cool under pressure, not a flicker of emotion on his face. He winds Man. up. And that's true. There was simply. Oh, I'm enjoying this radio. I'm enjoying this. Ah, shit. The they taking you to the airport, Frank? Doherty's gesturing, and that's only making Sidell more irate. 
This is it, folks. Another strike, and the Lancers win. If Doherty can get behind it, surely the cannons will get all their men home and snatch oh, sure. victory. Let me just not get A carried away. Listen to that radio. <laughs> Listen to the radio. Seems like I'm losing him. I ain't losing him. But then, yeah, like, I, I, I think you guys should know by now what I mean by side content. Because, like, look, this is the wilderness. I'm pretty sure they could have done something with the wilderness of this game. But, yeah, I, 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 I just don't know what it is at the moment. I'm, I'm not sure what it is, but, yeah, I, I, I still have to look for side content to do. Because I am not finding it. Christ, they're flying him out of state or something. Fuck, this ain't good. Fun where Frank is being taken. Do you think they're gonna notice me? You honestly think they're gonna notice me if I just barge in there? Hmm. Nope. Let me try to patrol the area. But I'm pretty sure maybe on the side there might be a place for me to actually. Oh man, like I'm sure if I come in knocking at the front door. Wait a minute, isn't that the car we used to smuggle in booze? Yeah, I just hope that guy does find where Frank is. You don't tell me there's somebody in here. Look for Frank. He's some kind of gangster. Why the hell isn't he being flown out by the feds? Well, is there somebody here? Because I don't want to. I don't want to go in at the wrong time. In the wrong time. There's something there. Okay, Tommy, this dude. Oh no. Thank you. Now that's a sniper rifle. Oh shit, I think I might need a sniper rifle. Wait a second, there's... There's a red thingy there. Look for Frank's whereabouts. What's this? Airport Las Haven. Mm, maintenance crew. Parting at Anger 50. Mm, okay. Catch up to Frank. On his way to Hangar 50. Please don't tell me this will not even show his face. For a rat like you? Nah. Get in the car. 
Wait a minute, why don't I just assassinate him right now? Catch up to Frank to anger 15. So what happens next? Dude, like I just hope I'm not too late. <laughs> I honestly hope that I'm not too late. Mouse time. Eyes on him. Oh wow. Oh shit, sticks dude. Okay. Well then, gentlemen, let's make this an honorable fight. Sniper rifle. It's not bad, but I'm pretty sure I'll have to nail two bullets before, even before I do anything. I'm going. To... How did that dude spot spot me? Out of all the people, that guy spotted me. Okay, say hello to my little friend. Holy shit! That, that was just too dark. We're going, Pappy. Full speed. Our only job is to take out Frank. Nobody else. That's the car. We're going in full speed, dudes. Who do you think you are? Holy shit, God. There's someone behind me. <laughs> and he has a regular shotgun. I'm, I'm taking that. Oh shit. Now you're done. No, I ain't done, Pappy. Nobody killing me. Okay, I just need to get in one clear headshot. Wait a second. There's a guy there. Dead. 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 Oh shit, I missed. I missed again. Oh, what? what is, oh no, I missed. Fire coming down! Ooh! Dude, just, just sit your ass down. I'm on him! Oh, uh, oh. Uh. Oh, no! Uh. Oh, no, 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 no man, like you just you literally took out all of my health for what? For a promotion. Dude, I gotta Oh can I Oh, I can't walk back Molotov <laughs> I'm just happy that I saw the Molotov coming. No oh, no 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 Oh shit. Well <laughs> oh, if that guy didn't throw a good Molotov, I would have. You gotta catch up to him, dude. That's what I should have done. But, yeah. Tom. Frank. Dan sent me. I figured as much. I'm sorry it had to be you, Tommy. Anything you want me to tell him? I wish it could have shaken that better, but Morello finally came after me. It's okay. You can come out. Morello offered me a simple trade. The Don's account books for our lives and tickets out of this town. You hand the books over yet? I'm not so stupid, Tom. They're safe. Morello was waiting for this. It's a key to a box in the Grand Imperial Bank downtown. I told Morello I'd hand it over after the plane was fueled and ready to go. His men were meant to fetch it before we left. I took care of them. 
Carl. Tell them to get on a plane. Go on, March. Alice, get aboard. Frank, you're coming with us. Not right now, honey. Just get buckled in. Tommy and I, we have some serious business to discuss. But Frank... Get on the plane, March. For Alice. For me. Get on the goddamn plane, please. Oh, shit. Tell me don't do it. Please don't. Tommy, don't do it. If it was me, I would. You've been paid yet? Yeah. Now you've been paid twice. You take the ladies wherever they want to go. Yes, sir. Thank you, Tom. Christ, Frank. Why didn't you ask us for help? I guess I just wanted out. One way or the other. I'm tired, Tommy. Tired of lying to my wife. Tired of checking under my car every time I take a Sunday drive. And tired of waiting for the dawn to put two in my temple. Don't do it, Tommy. Don't. God damn you, Frank. Oh man, that, that was real intense. That was really intense. Oh shit dude. Frank, out of all the people, Frank. I just hope this is not a setup. Good afternoon, sir. Hello, ma'am. Where's the safety deposit boxes? With my colleague downstairs, sir. Thanks. Where is your colleague? Find a way downstairs. This is upstairs. Jeez, how long is this gonna take? This, takes as long as it takes. this is downstairs. Beautiful day, huh? Uh huh. Yep, it is. Very like. I'm not gonna say like. It's not. It didn't affect me when it came down to like. Should we have killed Frank or should we let him go? But dude, like the man is old. Keeping out of trouble, I hope. He doesn't have a lot, a lot of time on his. Uh, on his clock. And I would have just let him go. I need to access the deposit boxes for Frank Coletti. Ah, yes, Mr. Angelo? Uh, How yeah. Old Mr. Know? Coletti said it might be you who came and to provide access. Please, follow me. Wait a minute, Frank knew it was gonna be us. So if Frank. So if it wasn't Tommy. Like this dude wouldn't have let us let us take the books. I'm pretty sure because he specifically instructed Tommy Angelo to accept to access the thing. Oh man, whose funeral is it? I got the books and covered my tracks. Salieri never asked any questions. In fact, apart from the funeral, I never heard him talk about Frank again. Then he throws the cigarette. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, man. 
that Mor what is Morello doing here? Or is it Morello? Yep, it is. You're making my boys twitchy, Marku. Sergio and I just came by to pay respects, that's all. Known Frank a long time. Almost as long as you. He's a good man. Smart. Loyal. <laughs> Loyal to his wife. His kid above all else. There must be some kind of honor in that in you. Maybe. But I'm still looking at this headstone with his little girl's name on it. It's a hell of a thing. Holy shit, that guy had balls. Okay, so... Let me just recap myself. Frank betrayed us. And Tommy didn't say that he didn't kill Frank. So he burned down the house and then he faked Frank's death. Then Frank and his family is somewhere and nobody knows that Frank is still alive. But long story short, I think that's like, okay, I did expect Tommy to kill him. But I didn't expect Tommy to let him go. Even if I wanted it to let him go, I really thought he was gonna kill him. Man. Like, this game and this story gets interesting as you go. <laughs>